have a good policy for mental health, which prescribes that we should increase access to care. But we realize that most of the patients actually are in the rural areas, they are in the community, because most of our population is a community, it is rural based. Now, the current uh, data we have from the health management information system shows that there is a skewed access to care where the urban areas have more access while the rural community is not having access. Mm -hmm. And also we have not been able to see much change in the, the mental health in the community itself <coughs> because of um, the current way the services are being provided. So this effort by mental health beyond facilities will be very helpful to show us lessons and also to understand what are those barriers and how can we overcome them so that we can increase access to care within the community because our aim is that people should receive care within their communities, not having to go many miles to the towns to, accept, to access treatment. Now this is a donor funded effort and it has a really short lifespan. The ministry is around maybe for as long as this country exists mm -hmm. and you're still going to be uh, providing services. How ready is the ministry to make sure that the outcomes of this uh, project are integrated in the ministry's program? As I mentioned earlier, the policy itself envisages such an implementation. Mm -hmm. And we are currently in the state in drafting a mental strategic plan. So our, the lessons we learn from this project will help us to finalize that mental strategic plan, showing how, what methods we can use to ensure that it is real, the mental program is realized within the community. So since it is a donor-funded project, but since this does not depart much from the, the aspirations of the ministry, it is the processes and the, the outcomes can be easily integrated within the Ministry of Health.